If you're even thinking about winter sowing vegetables or growing seedlings out in the snow or in the cold weather, you're going to want to see this video. Hi, it's Cheryl Mann with your Juicing Gardener channel. And no, I have not lost my mind having a junk heap in my yard. This is my stack of containers, my mini greenhouses that I used for my winter sowing technique. And if you have no idea what this is all about, go to my playlist on my channel called Winter Sowing, and it shows you how you can grow seedlings out in the snow. I put mine all up on my patio, and I had 69 containers, little mini greenhouses. You can grow your tomatoes, zucchinis, watermelons, everything except greens out in the snow and you put them out in January and you just leave them sit there for a couple months and you won't believe what you'll have in the spring. So anyway, this today's installment is, her, today's video is about the containers. What do you do with them? Do you throw them out? We clean them and save them for next season. I'm going to tell you my opinion. First, I'll tell you what I've heard other winter sowers do. Most people say they just throw them out. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why I'm not doing that. I'm actually going to save them and clean them. Here's why. Number one reason well, first, let me tell you how many I had. I had 69 containers that I filled with seedlings, and I had hundreds of seedlings ready to go right in the soil, okay? Out of those 69, here's an example. Some of them I had to actually cut out to get the seeds out. So I will throw these out for sure. They're, they're cut open, okay? But most of them I did not have to cut out. I just scooped with a spoon whoops, my bucket here, um, I scooped with a spoon and scooped the individual seedlings out and put them right in their containers in the garden. Either I put them in buckets or trays in this garden or this garden here. And then I just saved these in a big stack and they've been sitting up by the wood, wood pile for um, two months. <laughs> and I finally said, I've got to clean out that mess because we're having a big party and I don't want to have that mess out there. So I brought all the containers down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them. Here's why. Number one reason is I don't use plastic containers in my life. So I have to ask people for their containers. And I about drove my sister crazy because she asked some ladies at work and they sent these, they, they had the best containers, the big water jugs. Where are they? Uh, this one right here. They brought all these great water jugs. Um, I grew a lot of plant in these. And thank you to Amy, my sister, and the ladies at work. They brought me dozens and dozens of these. But after a while, I think I was driving her crazy. Do you still need more of those containers? And I finally took her off the hook. But I don't use the. I don't use water bottles. I don't use milk, uh, juice, any of those kind of containers in my life. So I would have to go and beg, borrow, and steal more containers. Number two is it takes a lot of time to, to prepare these containers. Let me show you this one, for example. You have to drill holes in them in order to cut them because some of them are really hard plastic. Um, you know, some of them that are really soft, like these milk jugs right here, you can just stick a, a pair of scissors in and cut around there. But some of these hard plastic ones here, you can't just stick a pair of scissors in there. You have to drill a hole first. I use a, a Makita drill and then cut your thing around to cut your opening and then you have to drill holes on the sides and then you have to drill holes on the bottom like four or five holes there and then holes all around the sides and it takes some time okay and so I want to save the time I want to save the resources and I don't want to have to beg borrow and steal or go and buy products I don't want um, but I am still gonna beg borrow and steal more containers because I want a lot more this year I had 69 last year and 19 of them failed, meaning the seeds did not grow, and I probably am throwing 20 out. So that's probably about 50 containers right there. So what I'm doing is, in my wheelbarrow, I just uh, filled it up with soapy water, and I put some a little bit of bleach in, and there are my containers. I'm just throwing them in and soaking them, and I got an icky old sponge from under the sink, and I'm just giving them a quick once around. Nothing sanitary. I mean, the idea is... Um, there could be bacteria, fungus, you know, different kinds of molds and things in the container. It's likely. All my containers came up really well. All my plants did, so I don't think there's much in there. But if you wanted to be totally sanitary and start fresh every season, throw yours all out if, if time's not an issue, and get new fresh containers. You save them all winter. Ask your friends and family to save them for you and save yours in a big stack, and then you'll go through and kick them out in a day. I have another video exactly how to prepare the containers um, because there is an art to it. So if you don't mind and want to start totally sanitary and hygienically, you know, that there's no chance of bacteria in them, start fresh every year. But to me, it's going to save a lot of time. And I'll, I'll type in a, a note at the end of this video of how many minutes it took me. I don't even think it's going to take me 30 to 45 minutes, which is 
way less time than it took me to, do, to prepare all these containers. So that's my tip for today. Definitely check out the winter sewing playlist. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. If you don't have a channel yet, Okay, I just finished cleaning all the containers, the mini greenhouses, and I counted, I had 59 containers. I can't believe they fit all in here. I have, some of them are doubled inside of each other. Um, and I just let them lay out on the ground here, drying in the sun, and they're not fully dry, so I'm gonna pop them in the garage and let the heat in the garage um, cook them completely dry, and then I'll store them for winter. So when January comes around, or whenever, whatever month I choose to put them in, January and February, I will have completed clean containers ready for me to put the soil in and the seeds and let Mother Nature do her thing. So just wanted you to see how, oh, how long it took also. It took me 45 minutes to do 59 containers. So that is under a minute, about 45 seconds per container to completely clean it and rinse it and lay it in the sun. Um, so that is way faster then drilling the holes and cutting them open for new ones. So we'll see, this is an experiment. Um, next season, we'll see how these containers do compared to all the new containers I'm gonna be using. Um, I think they're gonna be just fine to reuse. So anyway, um, catch you on the next video, bye.